Hey folks, it's Michael Collins, EnviroReporter.com on November 23rd, 2014, bringing you the Nationwide Radiation Report with the best beta monitors, gamma monitors in the United States run by the US EPA. And when they're working, you will not get better information on the state of radiation in the air in America than from us. Problem is, you're looking at Montgomery, Alabama here. This, this graph here works. But in this latest reporting period, only 39 out of 124 of the EPA's beta monitors are functional. Most of their gammas are functional, but what we want to know about is beta radiation, cesium-134, cesium-137, strontium-90, and plutonium-239, the kind of radiation you pick up coming out of Fukushima, which, as of today, TEPCO, the company in charge, of that stricken plant with a triple meltdown going on since March 11, 2011, said today, we have no control. It's out of control. Like, we didn't know that. Well, what we want to know is the radiation in this country. And when we have only about 31.5% of these taxpayer-funded monitors working, we got a problem. Nevertheless, this is really good information. We're going to go through it. Some of the recent developments that we're going to see in, in Bakersfield, California, and a couple of other places have also been detected by the Nuclear Emergency Training Center and reported by our very own Peter Daly, who runs our radiation food lab and radiation station, Sunshine Coast, Australia. Now, starting here with Montgomery, Alabama, we got a four-month period here. You can see the months here. Well, what you got here is... Uh, a high of about 350, 400 counts per minute. And it looks like it happened about October 27th. Anchorage, Alaska also hit a four-month high on November 1st. And they hit 100. You're looking at the gamma graph right now, which does not help much. You want the beta graph. See here, beta gross count rate. You can see here hit 100 counts per minute. This is the beta gross counts rate. Over here, hit 100 on about November 1st. Basic rule of thumb, you hit 100 counts per minute of beta, you better start paying attention. Like we all know, most of us know, triple times background is a cause for concern. California Highway Patrol says a triple times background radiation of any kind of isotope prompts a hazmat situation with the appropriate protocols. Check, check out Anchorage. It's up here at 100, but its normal radiation levels are in the teens. So this is concerning. Check this out, Fairbanks, Alaska. It hit a four-month high, smashing through its previous 190 counts per minute, September 28th, and it topped 245 counts per minute, October 31st on Halloween. More like a trick. Certainly no treat. Wow, what is going on in Phoenix? Phoenix blew through its previous 210 counts per minute four-month high, hitting over 650 counts per minute November 23rd. It just keeps going up just in time for the holidays. While not as hot as Phoenix, Tucson is certainly active too. It nearly topped 450 counts per minute, October 31st, which is 25% higher than its high in the last period that we reported on. Look at Little Rock, Arkansas. It rocketed to 450 counts per minute, October 27th. Yowza, settled down a little here. Now it's a little under 150 counts per minute. Fort Smith, Arkansas, it calmed down just a little bit to about 300 counts per minute, October 27th. But you wouldn't know that looking at that gamma graph, but you would know it looking at this. See how low it was? Then it just took off in August. Hasn't been the same since. Right down the road from us is Anaheim, you know, where the Magic Kingdom is and all that perchlorate is shot off every night, and the fireworks for everybody to enjoy. You know about perchlorate. Well, look at this. Their beta graph just gave out in August and never came back. 
That's a real shame. Well, I'll tell you, I bet Fresno, California, which is its graph didn't work. Check it out. 970 counts per minute, November 11th. Not to be outdone. Bakersfield, California, home of Buck Owens, was in excess of 1,000 counts per minute. Off the charts. A whole bunch of times in this last period. Now look at this. Riverside, California, it gave out September 15th after repeatedly slamming through the oh no threshold of 250 counts per minute and it stayed out. You know, Los Angeles has been out a lot longer than that. But I got to tell you something, not good. We need this information. But at least in neighboring San Bernardino County, one of the largest counties in the country, We've got information. We've got beta information. You can see here it's been quite active. It hit a four-month high October 18th, pegging about 335 counts per minute. San Diego remains extremely active, hitting about 580 counts per minute in September. As the beta graph shows, and uh, then hitting 650 counts per minute at about October 1st. Look at that. How about that? Now it's, it's cooled down to about what? That's about 150 counts per minute right now in San Diego. You know, it used to be down in the teens. Hartford, Connecticut was trending upward, tying a four-month high September 28th of about 215 counts per minute which is over 10 times its normal background. But yesterday, it got down there. It was just about 60 counts per minute. In our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., it was only about 35 counts per minute yesterday, which is great. It's good to know this information. In the state of Florida, not one beta graph works in five monitoring stations. And yet, if you look at the gamma graphs in Florida, they are hopping. Fort Wayne, Indiana. You know how jumping this has been. Well, it's nice that it's dropped down a bit. It's gotten a little less active. Of course, right here, it's looking like about 280, 290 counts per minute. They're about November 13th or 14th in there. And uh, that's concerning. But boy, it sure is a lot lower than it was in here in the middle of summer. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It hit its four-month high, November 10th and 11th. Look at that. Almost kissing 300 counts per minute. When well, we know that 100 is where you start paying attention real close. Look at this. Baltimore, Maryland. Both their beta graphs and gamma graphs are working. Now, you will see these long stretches of literal flatlining, but uh, nevertheless, uh, Yesterday, it was down around what? There, we got about 55 counts per minute yesterday, which is good. So even when they flatline, these uh, these graphs will come back on, and we thank uh, the folks who actually operate them in the field for their work. Worcester, Massachusetts, blew through 320 counts per minute September 28th, and has spiked three times in November, over 200 counts per minute. Grand Rapids, Michigan, the Great Lakes State, got to about 260 counts per minute November 5th. See that? But it's looking a little lower, and, you know, in the last week, even though it jumped up to about 135 counts per minute on Saturday night. St. Louis, Missouri, tested about 235 counts per minute October 14th. That's the highest in the period, though we've gotten... Uh, reports of high readings from NETC. I'm not quite sure exactly what they were reading, but I do know what the US EPA is reading. They're reading air. Lincoln, Nebraska, it hit a, uh, a four month high August 3rd with uh, 360 counts per minute, and then its graph died. You can see it here. It's where the, the term flatlining comes from, but it came back. October 23rd with a whopping 350 counts per minute before being exceeded 
on November 23rd, hot time in Lincoln tonight. You know, it's not always bad news when the graphs come back on. You can see here in Concord, New Hampshire, flatlined for a while. This is after hitting uh, 245 counts per minute on October 7th. Graph flatlined until November 14th. And then it's had nicely lower readings. The highest in years, about 130 counts per minute. And it seems within the last 24 hours, it's been hovering around 60 counts per minute, which in these times with Fukushima constantly cranking out radioactive substances into the Pacific and the ocean churning and uh, getting this uh, radiation up into the air, uh, we should be thankful for something this low. Let's see how long it lasts. Albuquerque, New Mexico. The state with the WIP facility, the troubled radioactive facility that caught on fire, it also hit a four-month high on October 19th with a sizzling 540 counts per minute. As a matter of fact, I had read that wrong. It's about 590 counts per minute. Very active in the land of enchantment. It's kind of ironic that Arizona and New Mexico have such high radiation readings considering that a lot of folks in their retirement years head on down to the southwest for the fine air. Buffalo, New York. You know Buffalo's tough. I've been to Buffalo. I love Buffalo. It tested about 210 counts per minute November 18th. This before the snows came. You can see it seemed to drop during the most intense part of the snowstorm. Now here's a case of a, uh, a radiation station that, that, that uh, I'm not sure what is causing these flat linings, but it's still operating. So we've got to give them credit. Showed about 240 counts per minute November 6th in Syracuse, New York. By the way, Manhattan, its beta detection, nowhere. It, it doesn't exist. It just has been dead for however many months and years. However, in its gamma graph, if you go take a look, you'll see that its gamma is much more active than L.A. So that's one thing that New York is first in. Charlotte, North Carolina topped 200 counts per minute November 13th. Here are the counts. Here are the dates. U.S. EPA numbers. This is what a blank graph looks like. Raleigh, North Carolina. It hit about 170 counts per minute July 24th, and then it cut out. And it still hasn't come back on, which is a real loss in that important, beautiful state. But i got to tell you, we have a radiation station, Harrisburg, North Carolina, EnviroReporter.com affiliated, and it reported on November 17th, rain coming in at 9.9 .9 times background. Corvallis, Oregon. You know, when I started uh, taking a look at these US EPA RADNET numbers, Corvallis used to have some of the lowest. Well... Not anymore. Hit about 375 counts per minute October 9th. And then about 200 yesterday before plunging down to about 20 today. We'll take it. Pittsburgh, PA is about 165 counts per minute today. So it was kind of active at the beginning, at the end of the last reporting period, the beginning of this reporting period. Settled down a little bit, got up. But you know, this is like 260 counts per minute. These are high readings. This is why we recommend having HEPA filter air cleaners in your home. Now, also in Pittsburgh and in places, a lot of places back east, uh, you've got that radon in the basement. And if you get HEPA filters, you're going to be dealing with two birds with one stone. The radiation from the outside, that's what these detections are, and the radiation on the inside, which is coming up from your basement. Well... They say everything's bigger in Texas. Well, I got to tell you, the beta readings in Amarillo, Texas have been the highest uh, generally that since we've been taking care of uh, business looking at this. They hit a thousand on the night of uh, on the between October 20th to the 21st. And then the graph died November 1st. And it's truly a shame because Amarillo, uh, we got to know what's going on there. But I will say 
that before it cut out, Bakersfield did actually top Amarillo. But uh, that's a, this is a dubious honor at best. And I know, I know, you folks down in Dallas are saying, so what? Well, I'll tell you, Dallas went Texas big, topping 400 counts per minute October 15th. This is a four-month high. But it's settled down. Right now, it's at only about 145 counts per minute as I speak. And maybe the folks in Fort Worth will be happy to know that their radiation is coming in less than Dallas right now, but not that much less. It hit about 250 counts per minute November 20th. And over in the West Texas town of San Angelo, almost sounds like a song, but not that far from El Paso. Here's San Angelo. Check this out. Right here, topping 550 counts per minute about October 24th, maybe. Not good. But, you know, par for the course in West Texas and the Texas Panhandle. Now, I know those folks in Texas probably don't want to spend government money figuring out why it's like this. But nevertheless, it is like this, and it is your government that's bringing you this information. And we will conclude this report with Madison, Wisconsin which hit a four-month high September 30th, charting an astounding 555 counts per minute, and it was just 300 last night. Folks, keep your eye on EnviroReporter.com for news and information regarding radiation across the United States, not only in our air, but in our water, soil, food, and items that we consume, not the least of which are sea creatures out of the Pacific which have been tragically harmed by the Fukushima triple meltdowns. Thank you for stopping by.